Hi guys, welcome to Praxi Best Practices and Change Impact Analysis. Impact analysis is really done as part of a change management program or project. And the idea is that you want to understand all the stakeholder groups that are part of or gonna be impacted by your change. And that can be teams and departments and business units, however you define stakeholder. Now, what you also want to do is for each of those, figure out the impact that your change will have on the stakeholder group. So different stakeholders might experience different types of impacts. Some may have an organizational process change. Others might have a full you know, reorganization in their organizational model. Others might have no change at all or maybe something just very minor. So the idea here is that you list the stakeholders, you list the impacts, but you can classify different types of impacts. It can be a process change, technology, adoption change, it can be org structure, whatever it might be. And then ideally look at and rank relatively the level or scale of those impacts. Because if you have a stakeholder group that has a very high impact, you want to put more attention on them so that and support so that they can adopt successfully that change. Whereas if a stakeholder group has a lot lower impact on them, then you might just provide some communication and that might be enough. So as you go through and do your impact analysis, you can also look at the from state, the current state that they're in, and then the to be state, which is basically the the future state that they will be living within if that change is successful. So you can also get a feel for the scope of impact by defining the as is and to be states uh, as well. That will give you a great picture of your full impacts of your change and give you that analysis you're looking for so that you can tailor your change program to support the stakeholders that will be impacted by your change initiative. For more best practice templates and applications, visit Praxi.com.